Oh my gosh, what's good YouTube? What's good YouTube? This is your girl, Grateful Drake. <clears throat> and that was Stella. That's her submissive. She's submissive right now because she knows she got in trouble for being all up in my face. All up in my face. Well, holy beep. You know what? I haven't been up on here doing any vlogs for over a year. It's been a really, really long time. There have been a lot of changes. A lot has happened in my life, um, including our new addition here, Stella. Stella, hello, say hi, say hi, say hi, hello, Stella, Coachella, I'm the party animal, not, so anyway, it's your girl, Grateful Drake, back at you for another vlog, I'm actually super excited to be back up on here, um, but a little bit nervous because so much has changed and I just feel like, um, you know, I'm reopening up myself to the world and to y'all. And um, it can be a nerve wracking thing, especially as we go through things in life. And um, showing your flaws ain't easy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, basically what I wanted to say was, sorry for the leave of absence. Sorry for not coming up on here. I just worked out, so I'm sweaty. So she's like, mmm, yummy, she's salty. She's salty. I'll be vlogging my fitness journey, my fitness journey with you guys. I'm basically, from the last vlog I did, I believe I'm basically in the same place. I've gone up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm always just kind of land myself right back at the same, same place. My workouts have been more consistent, but what I'm noticing is I can get a good streak of um, fitness and nutrition for like, I can go two, three weeks and do really good and I'll make progress. I'll, I'll lose like five pounds and then, um, then I'll binge. Um, so I'm realizing um, just some patterns in my life that um, I keep sabotaging myself and it's, it's um it's annoying it's fucking annoying and it's kind of painful one thing i will say about any fitness journey is um and i i say this to myself when when i'm saying this is you know if you got to start over a million times you start over a million times fuck it you know what i'm saying um that's the one thing about me is <sighs> I always keep trying. I always get back up. I always, I always get back up. It's just that um, now it's enough is enough, and I need to conquer that 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 nasty cycle, that pattern. Um, so those of you who are like me, you get in this pattern, this cycle of of um, falling back down and and giving back into temptation to the extreme, where you lose your progress. Um, you know, at least, at least, but then you're able to get back up every time. At least give yourself a pat on the back for that. No, we don't want to celebrate mediocrity, but you got to find the silver lining. You know what I'm saying? So here I am. So here I am basically, essentially on day one of my fitness journey. I'm going to give you weekly updates of the weight loss. Probably toward the, as I get closer to my goal, I'll actually give you weights, but right now, um, I'm going to keep a little something to myself, but let's just say I'm 5'3 and I'm like in the high 100s. Okay, what I'm saying? So, um, you can kind of get the gist of that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm also, as some of you know, going to be doing some tarot stuff, some um, oracle and card readings for y'all some oracle and card readings for y'all um i just find it real sketch when she goes off into little corners so stella we got her from not the spca but this place called mm, it's kind of like the spca the spca gives their animals that aren't being adopted after a while to this place um, i gotta get the name i'll put it down at the bottom but um she's five years old but she ended up being so funny 
everybody in, in the family wanted her hella bad. Everybody wanted her. They're trying to convince me. I was like, she's not the one. She's not the one. She's too old. She's too calm. She's 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 not playful. She looks like an old lady. She's gonna die. <laughs> and she ended up being like super attached to me. Go figure, right? So she won't really um she'll hang with other people, but but if I'm there, if I'm there, forget about it. Nobody else is gonna spend any time with her because she's gonna be with me. But if I'm not there, and when I'm not there, she gets some separation anxiety. It's a trip how things work out. She keeps me company, company all the time. Stella. Stella, come here. What are you doing? But I will be uploading stuff that I've accumulated over the past year. Hopefully you'll enjoy some of that, some interesting stuff. But um, I'm so glad to see you again. I've missed y'all. And um, holla at your girl. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and support your girl. So I just got out of the shower, feeling super fresh, super clean, feeling good. I had my little post-workout snack slash meal, if you will. Um, my goals for this um, journey are really low carb super low carb um kind of heading more into the like the keto type of diet but i'm not like totally keto i'll probably eat i'm thinking about 50 carbs a day which is low pretty low this is my little that's my bed when i wake my ass up in the morning that's the first thing i see so i got to put my first x which makes me feel good. Well, this first week, since I'm starting fresh again, um, I'm gonna work out every day of the week, seven days, and then I'll probably take a break. I'll rest on Monday, and then I'll see how I feel on Tuesday, whether or not I wanna grind through another seven days or just do six. Um, I'm just really trying to jumpstart my body. That's why I wanna start with seven days um, of workouts. So for breakfast, I had oatmeal, with blueberries um fourth cup blueberries i had a protein shake with one scoop of protein that was my pre-workout um so essentially what i'm going to be doing is my breakfast will be the highest carbs of the day generally speaking that gets gets me going gives me energy for my workout like starting tomorrow since it's kind of back to a regular day where we got to get up early. I'll wake up before the kids do and um, work out probably on an empty stomach and then eat my oatmeal after my workout. Today, when I finished my workout, I had um, tuna and cheese, that thin sliced cheese on romaine lettuce. So like I used the romaine as the like the bread and just put the slice of cheese and tuna. So I did that for my um, post workout snacks slash meal i'm thinking for my next meal i'll probably do some chicken and broccoli so that's where i'm at right now so yeah i just wanted to show you my little workout chart behind me here i i find that it's helpful to have oh to have that when i'm first opening my eyes to remind me to jump start me i'm always using like little reminders and things like this i wasn't actually sure that i was ready to talk about this but I guess I feel like part of YouTube is um, what makes a good YouTuber is the authenticity that a YouTuber brings and the transparency and you know the glitz and the glamour and it's fun to watch but at a certain point like um, I think we as humans we connect better to real realness you know what I'm saying so I'm back here after a year or so and I feel like it looks the same as other times I've come back so I really just want to keep it real with y'all so I kind of went through something well I think some of my core subscribers know me personally and know that I just finalized the divorce at the end of um, 2018 in November and um, during that period, um, during the separation, moving into the divorce, and then after the divorce, 
I started drinking a lot. Um, drinking alone, drinking at home, drinking, um, and it was like I tried, I hid it, I tried to hide it. Um, and I kind of just dropped out of, um, I'm a student, so the whole time I was still maintaining my, my schoolwork and um, although having um, some periods where I was falling behind, um, thank God I didn't do too much damage to where I couldn't um, repair it. I actually just graduated from City College of San Francisco, which was super exciting. So that's one thing, but um, I realized that I have a problem. I have a problem um, and I've been using alcohol as a way to numb, numb, numb out and to um, avoid this problem. So I'm going to multitask. The essence of my vlogs here are um, my fit, my fitness and health journey um, with a little sparkle on the side, which is uh, I read Oracle and tarot cards. So there'll be a sprinkling of that for sure, because that's what I love to do. Um, but the reason this fitness journey is different, why it feels different, is because I finally understood that in life, in this lifetime, I have two big vices. I have two major, I have two major vices, and that's my my needing to alcohol, so needing to numb my pain with alcohol, and also needing to numb my pain with food. And what I, I noticed, the pattern is that I binge, I binge, I binge drink, and just like I binge eat. That's why I can maintain a body shape for like, I can make, like it's been over a year. I went, I had these minor fluctuations up, down, up, down, up, down. But um, it's because I can work out and go hard for three weeks and then I'll binge eat for like a week. Um, and I was doing the same with alcohol and it got really scary. So the reason this journey feels different, um, the fitness journey is because I put those pieces together and I realized that my eating habits are very similar to my drink, how my drinking habits have become. Um, I think I'll go more into the drinking stuff later just because, um, I feel like it's a separate video, but I did want to put a little bit in here to keep you guys posted so that so that you guys can understand what the absence was about where I was but what, what, what was going on it's very very difficult this is a very difficult thing for me to share with y'all because most of y'all know me personally and know know me so um, life ain't been no joke life's been oh my gosh if y'all could see what I'm trying to do right now y'all would laugh I'm trying to balance my camera on this laundry detergent bottle so that's why i feel like this go around with the fitness with the nutrition it feels different because i feel like i'm looking at it in a more realistic way like i have a problem with food just like i do with alcohol it's very annoying to say out loud but it's true. It's just, there are just ways for me to um, relax. There are ways for me to not have to feel the, the intense feelings that I feel sometimes. If you're wondering, my not drinking anniversary is April 23rd. Woo. So it's been just over a month that I've not had a drink, which is Cry cry for me because you know anybody who knows me, yeah girl, likes to have a little drink. But this is good. This is good for me. This is where I'm at. So yeah, I thought I'd just fill you in on that one real quick one time. Just finished what I believe will be the last meal of the day. And as I was sitting there on the couch watching my movie, my tummy feeling all full. I realized that I didn't film it, but it wasn't really anything spectacular anyway. I just had two sausage links, ever good sausage links, um, which were low in carb, high in fat, high in protein. Um, 
I didn't eat that much today, so I felt like ending the day on something really fatty like that would be fine. Um, I'm still within my calories. <clears throat> my goal for every day is 1530. 1530 calories a day, and I'm under that still actually. I might have a protein shake before bed, but that's about it. I know somebody right here really want to be in a film, so I'm going to let her come up in here, but I'll see y'all in the, in the next one. Thanks for being here Hi. for me, and thanks for watching, and I appreciate you, and have a good night. <laughs> Why are you naked? <laughs> Wear your clothes. I want to show everyone that I I already, did you just fart? <laughs> Ew! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I already showed, oh. Did you fart again? Ew, you're nasty.